Hey everyone, James with TFB TV. Today on TFB TV, we've got a full review of the Zev OZ9. The Zev OZ9 is a Glock type pistol, I guess you could describe it, that costs around 1600 bucks street per, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, buddy, where are you going, man? Sit back down, okay? Just everybody, let's, let's relax, and I'll explain to you why I think the Zev OZ9 is worth looking at. I know, I know, $1,600 Glock, right? Well, listen to me, hear me out. Whew, okay, we're all good, got that behind us. Now guys, listen to me, I know, when you think Zev, Gucci Glock, I don't blame you. And I know Zev, they're probably gonna watch this video, um, they're probably gonna hate me for saying it, but I'm not sure I would ever spend the money on a Zev that people spend on a Zev Glock. So I saw the Zev OZ9 at TriggerCon, and honestly, I was gonna pass right by the booth, I mean that. Uh, but then the guys from Zev came over, and even though I kind of crap on Zev guns on the program from time to time, they still grabbed me and said, hey James, we've got something this year you might really be interested in. And it was the Zev OZ9, lo and behold, I was interested. Pretty good, this thing shoots. So what's the deal with the Zev OZ9? Is it a Gucci Glock? Well, kind of. But the reason why I think the OZ9 is completely and totally different from everything else that Zev has ever done is that it is a modular chassis system. What does that mean? Well, for those of you who are familiar with, say, the SIG P320, or I think some of the Steyr pistols have the modular chassis system, for example, the serialized component is the chassis, and the chassis, you can actually see part of the chassis here at the front rail of the Zev OZ9. That means that you can freely swap your frames, your slides, pretty much everything, even your trigger, because the serialized component is this little chassis. So when you go to your FFL and you do your form 4473, they're using this serial number from this component. With a Glock, the serialized component is the frame. So if you want a Glock 17 and you have a Glock 19, you can't just switch the frames out. You have to actually buy a new frame, which usually involves buying a new gun. With the Zev OZ9, you can freely swap a lot of these components just going off of the modular chassis. Slide, barrel, guide rod, spring, you know. So it's basically, it's a build your own. It's a, right. We call it the MBK, if you want to really get down to it. You can call it the Master Builder Kit, Master build, Builder. Right, it's like build. Lego, just not for losers. It's, <laughs> That's a good tagline, yeah, sure. I know what you're thinking. Is this compatible with Glock components? I couldn't get a straight answer from the guys at the Zev booth. So let's say I am a cheap bastard, but yeah. I want to have a Zev product. Mm -hmm. I could buy the components to build a lower. I could just pop a standard Glock upper on there. True or false? Um, it is, all of our parts were engineered around Glock parts, mm -hmm. so. I'm saying, but not saying. Right, it's right. A possibility. I got you. We I warranty got you. all Zev product together. I got you. Okay. okay. All right. I read. I can read between the lines. He's there. tracking. But I can tell you this. I'm pretty sure this is going to be like 99% compatible with Glock Gen 3 components. And if you want to see what I'm talking about, Gen 3 Glock 17 slide, Zev OZ9 frame. As you can see, we've got a perfectly functioning firearm. Glock 17 factory frame, Zev OZ9 slide. There you go. So previously, yes, a Zev pistol was kind of a tough sell because you're like, wow, I'm gonna pay almost two grand and basically get a glorified Glock. Is this basically a glorified Glock? kind of, but at least you've got the ability to swap out your frames and you've got a modular chassis system that you're going to be able to use several different frame sizes, several different slide sizes, different configurations, so on and so forth. Plus, you've got a fair degree of compatibility with other components, slides, parts, that you already have for your Glock. So now that we have something a little bit different, I think the Zev as a gun is kind of worth exploring on the merits as to whether or not it's truly worth the premium because you're basically paying three times the price for a stock Glock. Is the OZ9 worth it? 
I'd say perhaps, but why don't we go over the specs and the features first and you guys can decide for yourselves. So this is not just another Glock. OZ9 means original ZEV-9 because this is ZEV Technologies' first complete 9mm pistol built 100% in-house by ZEV. The OZ9 is a 9mm that has a 15 round or 17 round capacity depending on the size of the frame. As of right now, only full size frame similar to the Glock 17 and compact size frame similar to the Glock 19 are available. The full size capacity is of course 17 rounds flush fit and the compact 15 rounds flush fit. Because this gun works with Glock magazines, you can use stick mags up to 33 rounds in it or any drum that would work for the Glock. If you're thinking about carrying this gun, it is, in fact, relatively svelte. While at its thickest point, it's almost 1.3 inches thick, which is the thickness of a P320, that's only at the humps around the slide stop. Most of the frame is about 1.2 inches thick, and the slide is just barely over one inch thick. So this gun's slim for a pistol with an internal chassis, and it's dimensionally almost the same as a Glock 17 if you're using the full-size frame. Testing holster compatibility, go for it. Looks uh, like it works. Huh? Not, oh, it fits. This one does have a, a positive click, yeah, but uh, so I'm not feeling that like I typically would with a Glock, but it, it's still, it's fitting and it's holding. Yeah. Yeah, so. Velo. No, that actually... That, I mean, it looks like it pretty that much fits, got no, that, compatibility. That yeah. fits well. I mean, that's... Good. You know, and then... Yeah, that's, that's good. No, it works. Okay, this is Bravo Company. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good fit. Nice fit. Yeah. The standard barrel is four and a half inches. This again makes the Zev a viable carry option because although it will have a longer slide and barrel, this will give you a longer sight radius and better ballistic performance respectively. But you also have the ability to mate the smaller Glock 19 size frame to the OZ9 full size receiver and upper. 17 round magazine. This is the brand new OZ9 compact frame. So this is a Glock 19 size frame and it's neat because it's got the Glock 17 size slide. The barrel is not the difficult part of a gun to conceal, it's the butt of the gun. So Zev more or less gives you Glock 17 performance in a Glock 19 size package. The Glock 17 is however 6 ounces lighter than the Zev. The OZ9 is a little bit of a Freddy fat ass at 28 ounces to the Glock 17's 22 ounces. But to put things further into context, even with its steel internal frame, the Zev OZ9 weighs one ounce less than the SIG P320. Speaking of the internal chassis, the heart of the OZ9 is this modular steel receiver. This solid steel frame runs the length of the entire pistol. It has extended internal rails that Zev claims to add, and I quote, more than double the surface area of contact to slide. They don't say more than double of what, but what they almost certainly mean is that the Zev OZ9 has twice the slide contact area as a standard Glock. Zev claims that having a singular component for the slide to travel along minimizes vibration and recoil energy by dispersing it along the receiver through the custom grip. That's their words, not mine, and I don't know if this is true or not, but the Zev is certainly easier to shoot than an out-of-the-box standard Glock, even if it's just because the steel internal receiver makes the gun slightly heavier than your standard 17. A single takedown pin located at the front of the trigger guard locks the removable grip into the steel receiver. Takedown and exchanging of frames is incredibly easy. The trigger's housed in the steel receiver and is also easy to swap out, although not as simple as changing frames. I actually hated the flat trigger. For some reason, the way I get in the trigger, I mean, I, I think I'm like first knuckle deep on a trigger, um, but the way that my finger interfaces with the trigger, I was having a hard time disengaging the trigger safety here. So what was happening is that trigger safety wasn't clearing the ridge inside of the frame and it would bump up against it. I would feel friction whenever I'd pull the trigger because of that trigger safety. I called Zev. They were like, dude, no problem. If you like the curved trigger better, that's more like the standard Glock trigger, we'll send that your way. I am a straight up piece of garbage with my hand. So I was terrified, but they're like, dude, trust us, even you could do it. And that was kind of true. See, this is what I always joke about though, where I say I'm ham fisted because like stuff that should be really easy 
for me is actually extremely difficult. So, yep, there you go. Perfect. That's definitely making the video. The struggle is real. F you. You do it, Ryan. <laughs> Some kind of bee. God, you're such a pussy. I don't want to get stuck. Nobody wants to get stuck. <laughs> We've got bees everywhere. Anyways, once I got it put in, this trigger shot like a dream. It feels like the Glock trigger, the stock Glock trigger that we all know and despise, uh, but really good. Like nice, smooth, crisp trigger pull. Four and a half pounds. That's pretty good. In fact, four and a half pounds would be like the magic number where I would consider it to be light enough to be good enough for tournament use or for marksmanship purposes, but heavy enough, really on the light side of the scale, but heavy enough for a carry gun. The Zevo Z9 improved grips have steeper angles, which Zev says helps with keeping the muzzle down and the muzzle straighter. Of course, Zev being Zev, you're going to have plenty of not inexpensive options to completely customize your gun with their components, including different grip sizes with different color and texture options. The OZ9 comes in a very stately red SKB custom case that feels extremely well built and durable, and the inside of the box contains cutouts to store your $2,000 fancy Glock and a couple of $13 Glock mags. One of the first things you'll notice when you wrap your disgusting, unworthy hands around the OZ9's frame is the excellent trigger guard undercut and single finger groove. Ergonomically, it feels fantastic, and it's very similar to the SIG P320XC series of guns, which I consider to be the gold standard for frame feel. The grip texture on the Zev is outstanding. It's very grippy without being too abrasive, which tends to be a common complaint with more aggressive textures, such as the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 series and the CZ P10. NC. Ergonomically, I simply have no complaints about the frame at all. The magwell is just about the perfect size in the standard frame, affording plenty of room for easy mag insertion and extraction without increasing the overall size of the frame, although Zev does make a competition frame that has a larger magazine well. The reversible magazine release appears to be aluminum, but I'm not sure about that. The texture is aesthetically pleasing while being easy to use. The slide release is very Glock-like. Looking at the gun two-dimensionally, the lever appears almost identical to a Glock. It isn't until you look at it from a different angle that you notice it's slightly protruded without adding too much width. Takedown is of course identical to the Glock using locking tabs on both sides of the frame. You'll pull the trigger, slightly retract the slide, pull the tabs down, slide the slide off the frame. It's extremely easy to do after only a few practice reps. The trigger is also aluminum. You have several trigger options from Zev and all of them are good. My OZ9 came with an extended threaded match barrel the color of my grandmother's spittoon. It also came with a knurled thread protector that was quite handsome. The standard model comes with a black DLC-coated 4.5-inch match-grade bullet tube. As we all know, Zev slides are possibly what made them famous because they tend to do an excellent job of marrying aesthetic with function. The slide serrations on my OZ9 were very similar to those of the CZ P10C in that they were deep and aggressive. However, the machining is clearly much cleaner and much more extensive than the CZ. The Zev slide serrations also wrap around to the top of the slide. Zev has machined lightning cuts into this DLC coated steel slide, and it seems that the slide cut out behind the front sight might be large enough to accommodate a Glock compensated or C model barrel, which has porting on top of the barrel just to the rear of the muzzle. A common complaint about lightning cuts is that they allow dirt and grime to enter the slide. I don't have enough money to spend on slides with fancy machining, so my experience is limited in this realm, and I cannot opine as to whether or not dropping Pico de Gallo from my burrito into my slide is a realistic probability, and should that event occur, if it would actually create any adverse effects. Good sights are critical on a defensive or a marksman pistol, and the Zev aces this category as well. The OZ9 has hackathorn style sights that use a fiber optic front so bright it's almost distracting, especially when contrasted against the textured rear blackout U-notch sights. Attention to detail is apparent everywhere on this gun as the rear sight bears the Zev logo. Finally, if you prefer to have one of those newfangled micro red dot sights, 
I guess it's not a terrible idea. When you mount something like this fancy Trijicon SRO on a Zev, it only costs about 15 to 20% of your overall pistol price, instead of 50 to 60% of your pistol price if you mounted the same optic on a Glock 17. That to me sounds like free money. In any event, my slide came cut for the Trijicon RMR or SRO, and the fit was so precise that you probably couldn't get a drop of CLP in between the optic and the slide. Magnificently done. In summary, this is a bespoke boutique Lambo gun. By Lambo gun, I mean that there's nothing to dislike about this gun other than the price. Had I known that I would see so many Lambo guns in the past five years that I've been reviewing guns for TFB TV, I would have started the Lambo gun Hall of Fame and the Zev OZ9 would certainly have been in it. But unlike many high-priced handguns, the Zev seems to at least have an argument in its favor considering how feature-packed it is in addition to its modularity. Ryan from the Firearm Blog made a comment where he said he had probably as much money in his Glock 19 that he customized piece by piece over the years. The difference is his pistol is not modular, but this one is. What I'm trying to say is that I think someone could advance a colorable argument of this gun being worth the money if you plan on sinking this type of money into a stock Glock anyways. In conclusion, would me, personally, James Reeves, buy a Zev OZ9? I'd say possibly. If I really wanted a high-end Glock with the ability to add a micro red dot optic and I wanted it ready to go, fully tricked out, out of the box, as far as money goes, this makes the most sense for a premium Glock, and that's by virtue of the fact that it uses the modular chassis system that I've talked about so much. That way I can kind of move from a more compact package that I could carry on a daily basis to something with a little bit more robust frame as a full size, either a carry gun or maybe even a larger frame if I wanted to do something for say tournament shooting. So it does make sense in that respect. It also needs nothing. The trigger is virtually perfect. Sights, slide serrations, grip angle, the grip, the frame, the barrel, pretty much everything is good to go out of the box. And that's the thing is a lot of people joke about, hey, why would you spend $500 on a Glock and then change everything out of it? Because that's a lot of the times what does actually happen. So when you factor in maybe the costs of all the upgrades that you would get if you just bought like a standard Glock 17 or 19, and then you factor in the concept that you can use a different size frame where you can swap your frames out, different colored frames, different shape frames, whatever. The fact that you can do that makes this kind of a big deal as far as Zev's product line goes. This is a really expensive gun. And again, I'm not sure that I would purchase it or it meets any needs that I have, but this is one where I can see the price being justified by all the features and the modularity that the OZ9 has. So in any event, yes, Zev, you guys were correct. This was something that I was actually gonna be interested in. Guys, I'm sorry I had to make you sit back down earlier, but you guys were gonna walk off without hearing about all these cool features on this Zev OZ9. Now you've seen the video and you can say, hey James, I totally disagree with you. This gun is not worth $1,600 or whatever it is, street price. Or you're like, hey James, thank you. I'm sorry that I made that rash move to get up and leave earlier in your video. I'm glad you made me sit through it. Speaking of saying thank you, I wanna say thank you to Ventura Munitions, the best sponsor in the entire world. Those guys gave us all the ammo we used in today's video. Oh, those guys. Very funny guys. Very funny, Mike. I really appreciate that. Not to mention my boys at Blue Alpha Gear, who I also deeply love. And thank you to 511 for sponsoring our videos this September, October, November on TFB TV. But most of all, Thank you guys for watching. I love you. I'll see you next week.